The Pre-30 auction has so much more than antique tractors. There's gas engines, vintage vehicles, signs, tractor parts, implements, and memorabilia. One piece of memorabilia was delivered to the 2022 Gathering of the Green in Davenport, Iowa. It was a gold statue with an interesting history with the John Deere Company. So Roger, what can you tell me about this Henry Dreyfus sculpture right here? Well, actually it was consigned. A guy brought it to me uh, and wants us to put it on our pre-30 auction. I know Henry Dreyfus and Associates started with John Deere um, in, in the mid-30s. Uh, of course, they're the company that was tasked to redesign and make the style tractors for John Deere, the A's, B's, and G's. Um, and I know John Deere used the Dreyfus and Associates clear up into the 7 and 8,000 series uh, design of the exterior of the, of the tractors. So when did they get involved with creating sculptures and the Art Deco side? Do you know? They had the early deers, the copper deers, you know, it was on branch houses and different things. I think, what was there, maybe 10, 12 of those? Something like that, yeah. Yeah. Well, these, uh, they had, uh, the story is that Dreyfus designed this statue here and uh, for prominent dealers, branch houses, executives, you know, office. But I don't think a lot of them were produced. I don't know the exact number that were produced, but. Uh, I have not seen one sell for a long time. So they were specifically commissioned by John Deere corporate yes. for those entities, that either the corporate office, uh, whether it be branch houses or uh, high-end dealers. Right, like okay. I think if you sold so many tractors or different things, okay. it's my understanding that okay. you know you might have one of the dealership is, is my understanding of it. So, right. uh, but uh, yeah, I guess Henry Dreyfus designed it more of a sleek deer, you know, from the other one with the, more of the deer style rather than the kind of the European style they used to use. Sure. Well, they used what they called the delk, a cross between the deer and an elk right. uh, design was the early on. I know it's painted gold, but what is this made out of? It, it, it's fiberglass. It's fiberglass, yeah. okay. And uh, But I know there were different styles of these two. I was told there's like three versions. There was like a gold one, and then there's another one that's painted more like the deer. It's brown with the white, you know, I've front seen on. one of them. Yeah. Um, okay. And so uh, there's different, and there's uh, prototypes, there's different things out there. I know uh, I had a small version of this uh, on my auction several years ago that they, not, I don't know, three or four years ago, whenever I sold a few of my things, but it was a little prototype to this, which was kind of okay. neat. It was uh, small, so. But uh, that's about all I really know about them. Uh, era, I'd say 40s, 50s, but I'm going to research that a little more. Well, fiberglass is very popular in mid-50s, so yeah. it makes sense. Yeah. It makes sense, exactly. Okay. So, yeah, but I mean, it's just more of a sleek and as the leaping deer, still incorporated the log, you know, mm -hmm. and so just a, it's a really neat piece of John Deere history, in my opinion. I mean, it would be really cool if you had, you know, your tractors lined up in your shed and this sitting in the center of it. Oh, it'd be a fantastic centerpiece. Too, oh, wouldn't, wouldn't it, it though? It'd be a great centerpiece. For anybody's collection. What year did uh, Henry Dreyfus pass, you said? It was the early 70s. It was, yeah, I mean, and, and then the corporation went on, Henry Dreyfus and Associates, uh, after his death. And like I said, the Deere used them clear up into the seven and 8,000 series designs uh, was the last input they had in the design characteristics of the tractor. After that, it was, of course, taken over by Deere. Um, so quite a long run for a company to be associated with John Deere. Yeah, it really is. And you know, another little funny story just to throw in there, but a friend of mine was passing through earlier and he had one of these, I guess, that was sitting on top of a uh, local dealership and he was able to purchase it. But was did, did you hear that story too? Where I did. It <laughs> had an arrow through it. So some guy came through and, and uh, shot it with his bow, I guess. And the arrow was still stuck in it when he bought it. <laughs> but I thought that was pretty funny. That, that is pretty interesting. There's no doubt about it. Things, uh, and, things people do. And, and he looked at me and he told me, he said, yeah, he said, uh, I sold it too cheap. <laughs> I said, you should have left the arrow in it. Exactly. Exactly. Talk about character. Yeah. So I, I thought that was kind of a neat story. So this statue will sell on the 2022 pre 30 auction. For more information, visit almondvintagepower.com.